Get ready to tone your entire body. Today, we have Lisa Corcello here to take us through a cardio Pilates and strength workout. Thanks, Anna. So grab some five to eight pound weights or no weights at all. Let's get moving. All right, guys, we're gonna bring our feet all the way together. Go ahead and wiggle your fingers, shake out your shoulders a little bit. And with our palms down on our thighs, we're gonna inhale our arms up. Exhale, flip those palms, really reach your fingertips out all the way down. Inhale, leading with the back of your hands. And then exhale as you bring the palms of your hands down towards your thighs. So we're gonna keep that up with our breathing pattern. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Now we are modifying for Anna, who is in her third trimester, yeah. looking amazing. <laughs> and what I wanna talk about is that this is a great way to engage your core when you are pregnant. The biggest question I get from my clients when they are pregnant is what do I do about my core? So this is engaging your core, okay? Like, yep. Right, the other thing that you wanna do, especially right now as we press our arms down, is to draw your pelvic floor up and in. So ladies, if you know what a kegel is, you're gonna do it. If you don't, <laughs> yeah. congratulations. Inhale up, exhale down. Perfect, let's bring our hands part way down. Flip the palms, soften the elbows, and then we're gonna come into a nice Pilates V with our heels. We're gonna come all the way up, nice calf raise. Again, kegel exercise is happening, abs are tight. We're gonna exhale as we hug that tree arm down. Inhale, exhale. So this is a little bit faster, and I want you guys all, whether you are pregnant or not, to begin to draw that belly button in towards the spine. So we can work our core throughout this entire workout. So even when we're doing our crunches and Anna's doing her modification, she is getting a lot of core stabilization, okay? We'll do two more, inhale. This exhale. is hard for the balance. <laughs> right, it's totally hard, right? Bring your arms the burn out. my legs. We're gonna come to 290 degree angle. So I want you guys to come up a little bit higher on your tippy tippy toes, wiggle your fingers, and then we're gonna just gently slowly draw the elbows and the wrists back, and we're gonna add a calf raise. So lots of balance. This is a really good warm up because you're lengthening and you're strengthening, and you're starting to become aware of your back muscles, which we forget about a lot. Yeah, right? definitely. This is so good for postural awareness. All right, four more. Drawing that belly button in towards the spine, but not changing the shape of it. Last two. Last one, good, bring the arms down. We're gonna come out, we're just gonna cross the right hand over the left, left over the right, lead with the pinkies, lead with the thumbs. Inhale and exhale, and now it is time to get moving, so we're just gonna start to jump side to side. Go ahead and bring your arms up. Don't be too serious about it, just start to let your arms come up, and then just press up a little bit. And this is called clearing. Well, want you guys to just kind of press your arms out. Notice where you feel tight, where you feel sticky. And just kind of create some space for yourself today as you begin to work out. It's almost like you're in your own little bubble. <laughs> we need that, I know I do. Just be aware of where you feel like pressure, stress, wherever you're holding in your body, push it out, push it away. And then the next time your arms come down, I want you to come into quick feet, so you're just gonna shake it out. Shake your head no, not a yes. Get those legs moving, let your wrists be nice and loose, especially during pregnancy. Talk about this a lot in my book, Carpal Tunnel. Loosening those joints, staying strong. Go ahead, come back up to the hopping. One more time, just push it out. Create some space, wiggle a little bit. Let your body loosen. We're about to get real deep into this workout. <laughs> One more time, just shake it out. Shake it out, breathe. All right, in three seconds, we're coming down into a nice wide squat. In two, in one, come down into the squat. Anna, you're modifying by stepping one foot out at a time. Christina, you and I are gonna hop. We're gonna cross the right foot over the left and back down. Left over the right, back down. Inhale, exhale. So Anna, I want you to move your arms as much as you can. I want you to really point your toe as you reach that leg forward. We all wanna keep proper alignment, so don't let your hips wiggle. You guys feeling your abs? Oh yeah. Good, shoulders back. And my booty. Now, we're gonna add a little bit of balance and agility, Christina. We're gonna hop on our right foot and then down, okay. and then left and down. Whew. So this helps us in everyday life. Because this is how we move. We gotta step, jump, move, land on one foot. We don't wanna fall. One more each side. Perfect, back in with the quick feet, shake it out. Shake it out. Burner. How we doing back there? Oh yeah. All right, everybody squat deeper. All right. Up your pace. I know. This is just the beginning. <laughs> okay, we got one more round and we're gonna kick our feet back. So we're gonna back down to that squat. We're going to kick our left foot back, squat, right foot back. Okay, so Anna, you are tapping. Yeah. I feel it. Good. Notice that length through the side body. Five, four, three, real deep squats. Don't give up. Two, one, 
Oh, that was killer. Oh my yeah. God. Okay. Now for the warm up. That was your warm up, my friends. Grab your weights. We're gonna start working our legs and our arms. So we're gonna turn to the left. Left foot forward, right foot back. Scissor your hips. And make sure all 10 toes face the edge of your mat. From here, we're gonna bend both of our elbows. Abs tight, biceps engaged. We're gonna come on down into a nice deep lunge. And we're gonna dip deeper into that lunge. Keep your left leg as it is. You're gonna inhale, lengthen your right arm. Exhale, left, good. So this is an isometric hold on our left side. Nice bicep curl halfway up on the right. And of course we have legs, we have abs. Oh yeah, feel it. We have it balance. All, Lisa. Well good. Woo! Three more. It's only gonna get better. Two, <laughs> one, come down and hold. Reach both of your arms up, biceps at the sides of the ears, belly tight, hip flexors long. We're gonna just pulse down. Eight, seven, six, Ooh, five. Yeah. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Woo. Two, hold. Bring those weights right in front of your shoulders. Plug your arms into your shoulders. Eight pulses. Eight, seven, oh, yeah. five, four, a little deeper. Three, two, hold here. As we stand, we're gonna reach our right, reach our right arm up. Uh, and down. Woo. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now, I want you guys to be aware of your core, particularly your right side body, your obliques. Five. Left shoulder should be burning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Inhale, lengthen. Last two. Last one. Final bit on this side. Bring those weights together. Come on down. Hold a deep, 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 deep lunge. Eight pulses, triceps. Eight, seven. You can move your legs or stay in place. Four. Oh, oh. three. Two, one. Oh. oh, yeah. Hello, how we doing? Oh my goodness. Feeling it, girl. Me too. <laughs> great burn. Oh my god, me so too. All right. We got the other side. We have to do the other side. Ooh, it would be wrong racing. not to. Okay, hips, shoulders, knees, toes, face this. Face the right side. All right, bend your elbows. You know what's up, Anna. Bend your left knee down, okay? Now, extend your left arm, and as you stand up, you crunch. Good. Take a look at your right wrist. Make sure it's flat. You don't want to be tweaking your wrist. Good. Shoulders are back, chest is proud. We're working so many different things, you guys. Yeah. Three, two, one. We're gonna come down deep into that lunge and reach our arms up, biceps at the sides of the ears, spine is long. Let's pulse eight, seven. Press into your right heel. Four, breathe. Two, hold. Arms come out in front of us. Big shoulder move. Good. Eight lunges. Eight, Ooh. seven, six, four. Ready for those scissor arms. Yeah. In two, in one. Stand up. Left arm comes up. Lunge down. Shh. Inhale. Oh my God. Is anybody else shaking? Oh, yeah. My Everywhere. right arm is shaking and my left leg is shaking. Everything's shaking. <sighs> Means we're alive. Balance right? oh. challenge. Christina, you have such a positive outlook. Yeah. Three. <laughs> I'm shaking like crazy. Two, oh, and one. Now, weights come together behind the head. Bend that left knee. You ready for triceps? Yes. Inhale, exhale, let's do it. Add that pulse with your leg if you want to. Ah. Oh, last four, three, two, one. Woo. All right, Woo. let's take a quick oh water break. Gosh. Absolutely. Can't believe we're already taking a ah. water break. Need it, hurry, mm -hmm. race it. Oh. Okay, break is over. We are gonna bring our feet about hip width apart when you're ready, good. Arms are nice and long. Okay, we're gonna inhale as we squat that nice deep squat. So we exhale, we're gonna bring our arms out to the sides and our right leg extends towards the right wall. So exhale, good. I want you to try to flex that right foot like you're dragging it along the wall. Like you just painted it, scrape it off. Try to make a seam line every time. Now what I want you guys to notice is that your right side body should be firing up to help yeah. control you on the way up and the way down. So all of these moves that we're doing today in this workout are meant to challenge many different muscles at the same time. <laughs> like oh, yeah. Multitasking, right? Wasting yeah. no time. Oh God, who has the time? All right, bring it down, hold it. Flip your palms now. This is a great one for pregnancy workout because you want to use different grips. Now. We're gonna inhale, drop the elbows lower, go deep into our squat. 
Exhale. We're going to extend the left leg out and press up. Ooh, balance. Well, there's balance. Inhale. Well, that's challenging. Exhale. Now, you don't need to straighten your arms all the way up. You want to make sure that you're using your shoulders and your biceps. Your lats are coming into play. Oh my goodness, so it's your booty. Flex that left leg. Don't forget about scraping the paint Ooh. off. Feel that in the hip. Oh. Let's do four more. Follow that breath. Yeah, that breath is super oh. important right now. <laughs> Two. And one. Perfect. How we doing, guys? Awesome. Great. All right. Yeah. Let's go deeper. Turn those toes out to 10 and two on an imaginary clock. Bring it on down into a sumo. And then shift your weight. Get comfy because we're going to be here for a while. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm going to cross my weight to make an X. Okay. You can modify by dropping one weight, whatever feels comfortable. Now, I want you to imagine you have a huge pot of soup. We're going to stir it. Let's okay. stir it. And it's thick. <laughs> gonna be stir oh. it. Okay. I want you to make sure, though, this is really important for back health is to keep your shoulders over your hips, okay? Mm. So oftentimes in everyday life, Anna, especially when you are carrying a baby yep. and a diaper bag and a stroller, <laughs> you are gonna wanna be able to move your arms around your body, draw your belly button in towards your spine, and not change the shape of your spine, okay? Yeah. Let's do two more. Is it starting to feel heavier? Yeah. Is Ooh, the suit cooking. getting thicker? My arms are feeling Ooh. it. Other direction. Other direction, yeah. Let's go deeper into that. This is the kind of core work I love, though, when I'm pregnant. <sighs> it's just like the stabilizing core moves where right. you're not stretching your abs. You're just really engaging them. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's why I wrote a book about it because I feel that everyone is so confused about what does it mean when I'm pregnant. What can I do? What can't I do? There's so much fear, uh -huh. not enough information. Absolutely. This is all about a great pre and postnatal workout. One more. Ah. Good. Now, I want you guys to bring your legs all the way together. We're gonna to flip that grip again. It's important to, to keep changing our grip. Come on down, nice deep chair pose. Our balance is challenged. I want you guys to push into your heels, wiggle your toes, bring those weights up. Okay, flex your biceps, show those guns. We're gonna to start to pulse down. So again, belly button's drawing in towards the spine, pelvic floor is up. I want you to raise your right heel and do eight pulses. Eight, seven, pressing evenly through the ball of your right foot and your left heel. Four, three, two, one, switch. Now start to drop your elbows a little bit. We have this little pulse going oh, on yeah. with those upper body. Inhale, exhale, last three, two. We're gonna put it all together, one at a time. Now we're gonna go right, Ooh, yeah. left, oh my gosh. right. Yeah. My quads are now, Anna, I want you to add this. Actually, Christina, you too, why not? Okay. Out and in, out and in. All right, this is gonna be you. Changing a baby. <laughs> uh -huh. Last four. Balance, core, legs, upper body. Breathing two and one. Woo. Oh my gosh. Let's one. set them down. I like getting all these tips from an experienced mama, too. <laughs> so much upper body. And the balance and the distraction. You just want to be able to take on whatever comes at you. We all do. I mean, listen, people hurt themselves pushing a door open. Yeah. Right, so let's get used to yeah. our lives and how we want to move in it. Okay guys, water break is over. It's time to come down onto the mat. Right. We're gonna work our chest and our triceps at the same time. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna do these on my knees because it enables me to go so much deeper. There is no shame in go doing these movements on Amen. your knees, but if you can do them on your toes, okay, good job, more power <laughs> to you. Okay, so I'm gonna keep my left wrist underneath my left shoulder. Okay, hips are tight. This is another way, again, during your pregnancy that you can keep your core tight just by bracing. Yep. We're gonna come out wide with our right hand. We're gonna inhale down into a push-up. Exhale, back up. Right hand comes under the right shoulder, left arm comes out. So we've got like a ch chaturanga push-up going on that right side. Basic chest press on the left. Okay, same thing with the left. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so we're getting triceps and chest. Yeah, this is really hard to do, but Oh, worth it. How are we doing, guys? You Wonderful. feeling it? Yeah, yeah, feeling it. Arms are on fire. Try to keep that elbow, the elbow that's narrow, as close to your body as possible. Oh. One more each side. Make it count. Go deep. Oh. And last one. All the way up. Oh. Nice. Woo. All right, you guys, we're gonna grab our weights. We've got more triceps coming up. We are going to roll over, Anna, on your side, then onto your back.
Okay, we're gonna roll back slowly. So Anna's gonna be keeping her knees bent. Christina, you and I are gonna bring our legs all the way up and turn our toes out, heels together. We're gonna bring our arms right above our shoulders. So weights above the shoulders, palms face each other. We're gonna inhale to bend our elbows. Don't hit yourself in the head. Bring that weights more towards your ears. Exhale, lift up, okay? So you wanna make sure that your elbows stay above your shoulders or your armpits. The stabilization there is what's gonna cause us to really work our triceps. Yeah. Okay? Now, bring your arms back up. Christina, as we bend our elbows the next time, we're gonna lower the right leg down. So we're gonna inhale, lower the right leg down, bend the elbows, exhale, everything comes back to the starting position. Inhale, left. <laughs> exhale up, sorry. Nice. Inhale, right. So we've got a core thing going on. Anna, you can alternate your legs, but please keep one foot on the mat. That feels good too. Yeah? I wouldn't do this if my core wasn't so strong already, but right. I feel strong enough to keep my back flat on the mat for this. Right, we want to hold that neutral position. So there's always a little bit of space right above the sacrum, but you shouldn't be able to see it. You shouldn't be able to see light <laughs> through a tunnel, right? <laughs> a tunnel under your back. <laughs> Unless you're in a bridge. Okay, one more everybody. Inhale, exhale, perfect. All right, Christina, turn those toes out. Commit to really squeezing your heels together. Now our palms face each other. We're gonna soften the elbows. We're gonna open, just like we did in our beginning stretch. Mm. We're gonna exhale to close for a chest fly. Now, Anna, as your arms come together, I want you to draw your belly button towards your spine. Christina, our arms come apart, both legs drop. We inhale, we open. We exhale, close. Oh, that feels great. Okay. Love that. Now, Christina, that's not all. Ooh. We inhale, open. Exhale, we're gonna crunch. Okay. Hold at the top, inhale down, exhale. We want to keep that neutral spine. Kegels are going on, core is tight. Anna, how are we? Feeling good. Okay, so why you guys, by the way, I should be telling you, we're working our chests. <laughs> yeah. Oh. My right leg is shaking like oh, crazy. Girl. My inner thighs are saying, hey, and all oh my other ways. <laughs> that means you're doing Ooh. it right. If you were squeezing your heels together this whole time, your legs should be on fire. Ah. Let's do four more, you guys. Exhale, <sighs> try to come up higher, Christina, for me. With me, I should say, not for me. Three, <laughs> that means I have to do it too. <laughs> Last two, oh. Last one, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. All the way up. <sighs> Good, bend your knees into your chest. Set those weights down. <sighs> okay. We are gonna come up, Christina, you and I, my friend, we're gonna do a beautiful classic Pilates move. Anna, you are gonna be doing a version of this and then doing tricep dips in the middle, okay? Right, yep. So, Christina, you and I are gonna bring our heels together, toes apart. Notice there's this theme of really engaging our inner thighs. Wrists go directly under shoulders. We inhale here, we exhale, we come up. Nice reverse plank. So Anna, you can bend your knees mm -hmm. as you bring one leg up, okay? Christina, you and I, mm -hmm. we're gonna keep those toes turned out. We're gonna exhale as we bring the right leg up. Inhale down, alternate to the left. So look down at your hips, try to keep them stable. As we lift one leg, the hip is gonna to wanna to come with it. I want you to use your muscles, I want you to use your core to prevent that from happening. Good, exhale, inhale. How are we doing, Anna? Feeling my traffic. Good, so extra upper body work during second and third trimester <laughs> is a good thing. It's prepping you. Let's do three more. Anna, you can go back to those bent knee movements, good. Last two, clench the booty. This feels good too, just uh -huh. really working the back Get side. some space, man. Oh. Good, perfect. Oh. Yeah. Flex the feet, roll the wrists. Okay, are we ready for our side series? Yeah. Now this is my absolute favorite. It is one of the best things you can do for your booty and for your inner thighs and for your core. And it is also tremendous for pre and postnatal fitness because you don't have to modify. Love that. Right? <laughs> you get to do everything. Okay, so we're gonna start with our bodies in a straight line. So line your body up with the back edge of your mat. Let your head rest in your hand. I want you to flex both feet, really, really flex, okay? We're just gonna inhale, bring our left leg up. Put your left hand on your left hip so you're not letting that hip dip forwards or backwards. Exhale, squeeze like you're gonna pop a balloon on the way down. So you wanna have this nice active, movement as you exhale on the way down so you're not forgetting about that. It counts. And then go ahead and flex your right foot a little bit more so you're not forgetting about that guy. So both legs should be engaged. Inhale, exhale, yeah. Five, the flexing feels really good, it's different. Four, it's prepping us for what's to come. Three. 
Ooh, the hip work is so yes. intense. Bring your leg down and then bring your feet without changing your spine. Just want you to bring your feet towards the front edge of your mat. Turn your left leg out now. So we're, again, we got that heel toe thing. Okay, we're gonna inhale, reach the leg up, exhale down. Same deal, we're gonna do 10 of these. Notice the difference, notice the subtle difference when you rotate your leg all the way up at the hip, oh. right? Keep that right leg nice and strong. It counts and it matters. Oh. And every time you exhale, we're doing our kegels, we're drawing our belly button into the spine. This I just is realized it's forward. easy to arch the back here in this yes. one, so I really had to engage my abs. Yes, and keep your hand on your hip, it's a good trick. Because yeah. you will feel your hip shift. Yeah. And then that just tells you, hey, let's get back into it. <laughs> All right, last one. Inhale, exhale, drop it down. Now, turn your left toe down towards your right toe so we have a toes together, heels apart. Now, already, my leg is shaking. Same. That means this is good. We lead with our left heel. Inhale up, exhale down. Oh, oh yeah. Now, I know I, uh, I'm not coming as high. Uh, I don't have that same amount of mobility. I don't need it. It's okay. This is hard. So, we're not trying to do any major circus tricks here. We're trying to get our. <laughs> All of these different muscles oh. that support our bodies, strong, and lean, toned. How are we doing, guys, with this internal? Ooh, Everybody's knees this okay? Is this one's burner. great. <laughs> it is. It's such a such a different move, and it's so powerful. Let's do two more. You really feel that internal hip muscle, it's crazy right? How the weight oh. of our leg is just enough <laughs> yeah. resistance, you know? <laughs> okay, now oh. keep those. Keep your left toe down. We're gonna inhale up. Then we're gonna turn the left toe up and come down with the heel. Okay, so the heels tap. Inhale with your left toe, turn your left toe down. So we're drawing a triangle. It's a very strange triangle, but it's a triangle nonetheless. So up, turn, down. Make sure that your leg is turning all the way up at the hip. Inhale, oh, yeah, exhale. That's hard to do, that's hard controlled right? move. Yeah, it is. Think about how strong you're gonna be from these if you're doing these regularly. Yep. Man, it matters. Oh. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Keep that right leg long. Last one. Oh. We're gonna finish with the toes tapping. And then we're gonna do a mini version of this. I want you to tap your heels and your toes. And your heels and your toes. Pull that belly button in towards the spine for eight, seven. How are we Woo. doing, guys? You feeling that fire? Yes. Go. Shake it. Ready to switch. Four. Oh my God. Three, aren't we all? I know. Two oh. and one. Perfect. Oh. Anna, you are gonna roll over and do push-ups. Okay. Christina, you and I are coming into a plank. Okay, so we're gonna do the other side of those leg pulls. We're coming into a nice plank. We're gonna keep our feet flexed for this one. Okay, we're gonna alternate leg raises, keeping the hips stable. Inhale, exhale, okay, left to right. Anna, doing those push-ups on your knees, good. Which to me right now is also a core move. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh my God, push-ups are such a core move. Uh -huh. Good, so take a look down at your hips. Make sure you're not raising one hip too high. Clench the butt. Four, shoulders over wrists. Two, one. Perfect. Everyone down on their knees, flip your wrists. Oh. Good. Are you ready for your other side? Yes. Let's go. You know what's coming. Oh yeah. All right, so we line our bodies up with, line the left side of your body up with the back edge of your mat. You're gonna flex your feet, okay? Again, we're gonna do 10 nice long lean movements just to get our body primed. Flexing the feet, inhale right leg up, exhale, squeeze down. How are we, Christina? Oh, I'm feeling I can't see you. This side doesn't have as much mobility as my other yeah. side. Yeah! Oh my God, that's crazy. And, <laughs> and that's a really good point. A lot of times my clients break out, like, wait a minute, what's going on with this side? <laughs> Feels it's like totally normal. Body. And this is why we do this work, right? Right. So we bring some balance. Get that balance. Who doesn't need that? Five more. Keep on reaching through the soles of both feet. Four. I'm already tired. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Two. But that's okay, that's okay. It's gonna be good. All right, bring those feet down to the front edge. Okay, remember your, your booty stays back. Externally rotate, reach out of that right leg. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Exhale, pop that balloon, squeeze it down. Pelvic floor draws up. Inhale and exhale. Again, go ahead and put your right hand on your hip. So you know if you're rolling your hip back or forwards, that just means you don't need to raise your leg as high. Right. Okay. It's not about your range of motion here. It's really about what you're feeling, where you're feeling to be more exact. Let's do three more. Inhale. I love that reminder too, because someone might see your leg going up towards oh the ceiling. Oh my God, yeah. But you could lift it halfway and still feel it in the muscle. Oh my God, yeah. It, it doesn't matter what it looks like, really. 
Bring it down. Okay. Turn that toe in. Okay, keep your hips stacked. We're gonna lead with our right heel 10 times. Inhale. Oh man, talking about a decreased mobility side, this is mine. <laughs> Just, oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm barely moving. Oh yeah. And you know what guys, go ahead and bring your left elbow back a little bit. I just noticed I was starting to hunch in my upper body. Mm. The harder this gets, the more even like my face starts cringing. So yes, relax point. your forehead and jaw. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to have TMJ after this. Four. Oh. oh my God, three, try to keep reaching. My leg is starting to buckle. Two, I'm gonna fire up my glutes. One, okay, keep it in, keep that toe turned down. We're gonna lead with heel. Remember our triangles, we inhale up, exhale, rotate. Drop it down, pop the balloon. Okay, guys, up and down. How we doing? Great. Oh, we're Got hanging in there. Got quiet. <laughs> Got quiet. Focus. I know. Yeah, That's especially good. this one. There's a lot of focus with this. Yeah, really Muscles. turning from that hip is very difficult. I know it. Okay, keep your left leg long too. Don't forget about that guy. Three more. Keep that breath flowing. Two, soften your jaw. Lengthen your neck. One. Okay, now toes are still touching. Tap the heels and the toes. Heels and the toes. Much smaller version. This one looks easy. Oh, <laughs> right. Let me tell you. It doesn't feel. <laughs> Way yeah, for all you guys at home, you're like, oh, this is our break. It's like the speed training zone uh, right here. It's just a yes. constant resistance. Okay, reach those uh, legs back. We're in that straight line again. Let's see. Let's see how we do now. Flex both feet. We got the last 10, okay? You're going to inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good, you guys. Does it What's feel different? And these last 10. Uh, <laughs> the first I know. Time. Feels good to flex though. I like to not be pointed anymore. Oh. Three more. Do you know what's coming up? Play. Cardio. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah. Ah. But you know what? You won't be doing these, so. No, exactly. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's bring our bodies up. Let's have a quick water break because we are going to really get into our big lightning round, which is going to be cardio and core. Let's do My it. My favorite yeah. combination. So oh. quick water break. My booty needs a little stretch. <sighs> Wiggle it, shake it, do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Just seated in this position feels like a good little yeah. <laughs> 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 Sit down if you have to. Uh, okay. Stretch. Let's okay. All right, guys. This is going to be pretty intense. I want you to stay with me. You're going to be modifying. Yep. It's going to be awesome. Modif the modifications, by the way, are super they don't seem easy at all. Uh -uh. All right, bring your feet about shoulder width apart, roll your shoulders, belly button in. Okay, we're gonna come back down into the squat. I want you to stay in the squat the whole time. We're gonna hop to the right, to the center, good. And to the left, and you're stepping out and into the center, okay? So at first you're like, okay, this is fine. It's like you're on a trampoline. You're landing softly. <laughs> Go ahead and pump those arms. Good, nice. Try the, the challenge here is balance and is trying to get both feet to hit the mat at the same time. Gets harder. Yep. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna bring the legs together and we're gonna do a faster version. So why don't you stay parallel? Feet together, knees together, shoulders over hips, and pick up your pace, okay? You can go a little bit further left to right. This is harder, so we're, we're doing these layers. Three, two, feel those claws. One, the next time you get to the right, I want you to pivot, hop to the left. Hop back, to the left, to the right, pivot together. Okay, so we go narrow feet, narrow feet, wide, narrow. And if that feels like too much, don't even worry about it. Do what you need to do with your feet to get through this. Oh, oh. yes. Let's do five. Pick it up, come on. And breathe, four. Oh man. Oh man is right. Three, belly is tight. Arms are even getting sore. We got this, we got this. Two. Oh my God. One more, one more, make it count. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Extend the legs. I keep Extend saying okay, legs. I'm trying to breathe. Cut the back edge of your mat. Anna, you're gonna duck walk. We're you seeing the you and I. Ooh, we are gonna draw an X. We're gonna hop together with our feet in the center of the mat, wide at the other edge. Bring it on back. We're drawing the letter X. Okay, down in that deep squat. Anna, you're gonna stay wide the whole time. Okay. Christina, we are gonna hop together and apart and together 
and apart. Good, Anna, I want you to pick up your pace. You have the option, Anna, of grabbing weights for your duck walk or leaving them on the mat. This is hard. You're in a deep squat, Anna, keeping your alignment in check and moving. And Christina, we are working our legs back to front and around and in. Ooh, that's God. Just challenging. This is so hard going oh, yeah. backwards. Let's do three. Oh my gosh. Two, breathing. Oh, the last one. Let's bring it all the way back, all the way back to finish. That's the hardest part. Good. Okay, face to front, let's just kick it out. We have to do the other side of this pivot hop. I know, <laughs> I know, it's, it's just the it right even. thing to do. Okay, bring her back into a shoulder width squat. Oops, that's not my shoulder width, good. Okay, left to right, ready? Let's go left, center, ah, right. Remember our trampoline? Oh, that's so right, we're doing that one again. again. I know, you'll never think of a trampoline this way. Never. All right, one more. And we bring the legs together, and we just go right, left. Good, Anna. Move those arms, Christina, stay with me. You're probably moving more than I am. <laughs> Three. <laughs> You're like, you do it, two. Okay, next time we go to the left, guess what? We pivot. Together, together, to the side, and we go wide, narrow. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's getting harder. Let's do three more. Three. Mmm. Woo! Look at Man. My yes. Two, my booty. Last one. Oh my God. Okay. We are now gonna do the X's. Another round of dock walks, my friend. You got it. Okay. Wide, Christina. Are you ready? I'm ready. Inhale down. All right, get your game face on. This is our big push. Okay, ready? Go. Together. <laughs> this is like the longest jump of my life. I feel like I'm wearing a huge weighted vest. Oh. Yeah, the oh. legs are starting to feel pretty yeah. jelloey. Go, Anna. They're like rocks. Oh. Three more. Three. And as soft as you can, go deeper, knowing that the light into that tunnel is near. Upon us. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Quick water break. Okay. Then we're gonna do some crazy ab stuff. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's have a seat while we have our water, okay. shall we? Get the way off the legs. Yeah. Ooh. It's gonna be a lot of oblique, some outer thigh, some arms coming up. Alright. Okay, guys. So, we're gonna be on our right side. Anna is gonna be modifying. Yep. With her right leg sort of acting as a kickstand. Yes. <laughs> Good. We need this kickstand kick right now. Okay, everybody else, we are on our right side. So, right wrist underneath the right shoulder. Stack your left foot behind your right, bend your knees slightly. Pull that left hip over your right. Okay, from here you're gonna use the sides of your feet, you're gonna press into them. You're gonna inhale, come up into this plank. Reach your arm out, stretch your entire side body. And then exhale, flip your palm. Imagine you're pushing through the air as you drop your booty down. Use the muscles in your inner thighs. Good. Yeah. Inhale, lead with the back of the hand. Exhale down. Now, we're gonna add on. The next time we come up, we're gonna hold for a second. Inhale up. Now, I want you to take your left fingertip, middle fingertip, reach it down towards your right heel. Pop that booty up, straighten your legs. Good. Inhale, back up. Exhale, down. Okay, again. Inhale, exhale, fold. Good, inhale up. Exhale down. So many muscles. Inhale. Oh, yeah. Exhale. Try to get that length through both sides. Inhale. Stretch it. Exhale down. Three more. Good, Christina. Oh, Christina, you're, you're keeping me dancing. motivated back there. <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh. Last two. Reach. Don't give up on these last few. This is where it really starts to come together. Last one. Woo. Shoulders Inhale. get a workout, I too. Know. Absolutely. Uh, up. Oh my God, down. Ugh. Lovely. Okay. Oh you are gosh. a superstar. It is kind of a beautiful move. You do feel so kind of sexy. Yeah, in you, that for move. a second, you're like, oh. I like it. And then all of a sudden, you're like, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and you you're have like, and my sides are looking good. Your moment of glory. Okay. Right. Uh, shoulder over. No. Left shoulder over left wrist. See, I'm already forgetting. <laughs> Let's stack the right foot behind the left. Okay. Try to line your body up. You're going to inhale. We'll do two practices. Inhale up. Find that length, 
Notice again what side is tighter, stickier, where you need to put some more love. Mm. Exhale, down. Inhale up. Reach, exhale down. Okay. It is important to keep that hand under the shoulder. I know totally. my arm was going out here. Yeah, <laughs> take James time and adjust. Are you ready? Yes. Inhale up. Go. Exhale, fold. Right hand slices back towards the right leg or the left leg. Inhale up. Exhale, press through the palm of your hand so you can engage your lats. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Oh, God. Up. Woo. One side is always weaker than the totally. other. Totally. I always feel like a different person on one side. <laughs> it's your twin. Yeah. Yeah, my, uh, the personality. my twin, my weaker twin is over here. We've got one more after this. Reach it, reach it, reach it. Let's make it count. Uh, Woo, up. work it. Down. Back up. Oh, oh uh. yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys. Feeling strong back and oblique there. I know. Look at you. Oh. I can't even believe it. <laughs> You're kicking my butt, Anna. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's roll our wrists. Okay, feel like we need it. Let's and you could do that um, that side plank on the elbows, too. Oh, totally. We talked about that. It just takes the pressure off if people need it. Yeah. So, side plank, I mean, modify it however you need to modify mm -hmm. it. Other side. If your body is telling you that it doesn't like what you're doing, <laughs> it's not an issue of like pushing through the pain. It's, right. it's called being aware and being mindful and work the muscles that you're trying to work. That can be a squat, a lunge, a side series, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and bring your arms down. Roll your head to the left slowly. And that's, I think that's a really important part of what I do with all my videos, whether you're pregnant or just had a baby or you're never gonna be pregnant. Mm -hmm. Inhale up, exhale down. It's all about listening to your body and finding really that left leg out. Really dynamic ways to challenge yourself that mimic every day, right? So we all get hurt when we do the slightest, like I, embarrassingly enough, hurt myself washing my hair. <laughs> oh, I pulled no. my back. So it's like, okay, what do I need to do? I need to maybe do a little bit more of this movement, okay? <laughs> yeah. So functional training is important. And then let's reach towards this left uh, ankle good. more. So try to align your shoulders going deeper. Um, and you can soften your knee a little bit or you can just go deeper, whatever feels right. But it's really about, you know, listening to our bodies and some days, some days we can bounce, some days we don't want to. <laughs> there's always modifications, there's always ways. And that skipping this part of the workout, which is gonna keep mm -hmm. you healthy and it's keep you awesome. injury free. It's when you get right. tight that you most likely are totally. gonna pull something. And then you start to rely on other areas of your body. Yes. <laughs> so you're like, my hip hurts, why? Oh, that feels so good. And so Anna, all of these moves are also gonna be really important for you in the three months, which I call the fourth trimester, Oof. after you've had the baby. So you're gonna get back into your core work slowly. Yep. Okay, you're gonna be doing the same modifications. Because mm -hmm. they're good and they're hard. They're not. I love it, I, and they're not easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we can roll down we're gonna do hamstring, we're gonna do booty stretch, but this is an easier way to do it. When you are pregnant, you're gonna come down on your side and roll over. I don't need to tell you that. Okay, so Anna, you can keep your left leg bent and reach your right leg up. And Christina, you can just extend your left leg all the way out. So we wanna open the left hip, and really get into the right hamstring. Then we're gonna bend our right knee, coming into a figure four stretch. This is a really good one to do after we did all that side stuff for everybody. Yes, I feel that. Oh, oh yeah. It. And then we'll just switch. We'll do the figure four first for our left side, as long as we're here. Try to flex both feet. It feels really good. And then Anna, you're gonna keep your right knee bent, right foot flat. Christina, you and I are gonna lay our right leg down and lift our left leg up. Bring the knees into the chest. Anna, you're gonna roll to your left side. Christina, you and I are going to rock and roll a couple times forwards. Good. Oh, so good. All right, guys. And let's just bring our arms back up. Just like we did in the beginning. Exhale, press all the way down, really reaching. And come back up. Exhale down. One more time, reach up. And down. And up. And down. Woo! Guys, 
are amazing. I am sweating so bad. I feel everything. <laughs> that was awesome. awesome. If Thank you, you made so it much. through that one, you are a rock star. Great job, you guys.